Good evening, Council. My name is Michael Pickens. I'm the former Northern Vice Chairman for the Libertarian Party of California. Um, in your own agenda, the reason for these new regulations on guns uh, are as stated. Uh, in the last decade, our nation has seen an increase in gun violence, including incidents at schools and other places of public gathering, not seen in previous decades. In response, the Law and Legislation Committee directed the City Manager to look into options and prepare any appropriate ordinances that would further regulate the availability of weapons and ammunition within the City. Um, in your proposed legislation, you are looking to uh, charge new fees to firearm stores, uh, change zoning areas, change the hours of operations, and increase waiting periods on background checks, and there's, there's actually more to it. Um, none of these new regulations would have prevented Columbine, the Newtown shootings, the Colorado movie theater shootings. Uh, however, an armed, responsible citizen at these events would have mitigated the damage caused. Now, restricting the ability of law-abiding citizens to acquire a firearm for protection will have no effect on the ability of a criminal acquiring a firearm. You see, criminals don't follow laws or regulations. You see, cities like New York, Chicago, Detroit went along the same path. They've slowly and incrementally, actually not slowly, but incrementally have added new regulations. So I'm afraid that Sacramento will continue along this path and every year we're going to be adding new regulations on gun control and on firearm sales and end up like New York, Detroit, or Chicago with increased gun violence because of it. You see, because law-abiding citizens follow the laws, criminals don't. And I'll leave you with one last point that is very important to understand. Most people cite the Second Amendment of the Constitution for the reason, reasoning for opposing new firearm restrictions. Um, I don't think the Second Amendment gives me the right to carry a weapon. I was actually born with that right. It was I have the right to defend myself. Mr. Pickens, your time has expired. Thank you for your comments. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Peter Singh. I'm here to talk about logic, which is the process of reasoning. This is essential to civilization because it allows coherent communication. Basically, the use of logic is the only way that you and I can say things which make sense. Do guns take lives? Last Tuesday, someone fired half a dozen shots less than 100 feet from my apartment building. No one was hurt. Apparently, the gun had very bad aim. Perhaps it needs to practice more at the range. Perhaps its owners should demand a refund for their defective gun. Do guns take lives? As a side note, it took 30 minutes before one, just one, police officer appeared. This isn't terribly surprising. According to the SAC PD's 2011 annual report, it has an average eight minute and five second response time to emergency calls. If someone did shoot at me, I better pray their gun had really bad aim during those eight minutes. Even when police do show up, they have no legal obligation to do anything. In 2005, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in Castle Rock versus Gonzalez that police do not have a constitutional duty to protect a person from harm. Councilman Jay Chenier er, said yesterday, guns take lives. Councilman, I have a question for you. How many guns have been prosecuted for homicide by the district attorney's office? If guns take lives, then aren't we currently in one of the most dangerous places in Sacramento? I count four officers in these chambers. Each one is carrying a gun. If guns take lives, why not go all the way? Disarm the police. They're the most heavily armed group in Sacramento over which the city council has direct control. So, do guns take lives? Let's test the logic of that claim. I have here a cell phone. Cell phones make phone calls, right? Let's watch. Please pay strict attention. A machine is about to perform a spontaneous act of self-operation. This could be an historic moment of scientific discovery. No luck. If guns take lives, then cars go places. I'm hoping mine hasn't left without me. Mr. Singh. Park is a long walk from here. Your Thank time has expired. Thank you for your comments. I'll just remind the speakers that you need to keep your comments general and not direct them at one particular council member. Thank you. Co-mayor and council members, I uh, mean no disrespect when I tip my hat to you. Uh, Councilman Warren, um, it is honored in, in light of the resolution and the, the, the timeliness. Um, the people are in absent, uh, they're absent. I wish I could thank them for, for standing in that march on, on Washington for jobs and freedom. Um, this is something, I'm a young person, so this is something that I'm new to. And, um, but it's not something I'm unfamiliar with. And I'm, I grew up in New Orleans in the inner city, and I felt firsthand what it's like to, to feel that. And um, so I am thankful that those people march for our freedom. And freedom means that somebody doesn't control you. 
Okay? And we have come a long way. And we still have a long way to go. Um, when I first moved to California in 2007, moved to Sacramento, took me far less time than that to fall in love with the city, and I care about these people. And when I moved here, I worked in sales, and I wore a shirt and tie every day, and I had a taper. And I was received a lot differently than I have been in the last couple of years when I've changed my look. And I look a little bit more urban. And people don't take the time to make eye contact with me. Okay? And this just goes to show how far we still have to go. Okay? And where I come from, the police presence is not a good thing. We grew up seeing officer friendly, but this is not what the police have become. And if the police are the only ones with guns, what are we teaching the young people about freedom? What are we teaching them about the officers that are here to protect them and serve them, right? The answer to society's problems is not found in legislation. And we can't spit in the face of those who march for our freedom by responding with tyranny. Thank you for your comments. And uh, we have a motion and a second. So all in favor signify by aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Councilmember Warren, any abstaining? Motion passes, Madam Clerk.